Today I'm going to show you how to manage your blog posts and make sure that they're published and showing up on your blog. Um, a lot of people add a post and then they save it and it's not showing up in their blog and they have a question as to why. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is just navigate to wherever it is that your blog exists. Um, so you can navigate using this page drop down or there's also a little tool here for your blog on the left, a little B in a, in a speech bubble. Um, click on that and click on manage your blog. From here, you're going to see all the posts that you have in your blog currently. You'll see that all these posts are published, but a lot of times when you add a new post, it will save it as a draft, or you may save it as a draft by mistake. So when you click on new post, put in your, page, your post title, uh, whatever it is that you want to do, start, you know, write your posts, whatever you want. You can add pictures here. Um, very easily just check it on to add and you can check multiple ones if you want to add more than one just when you click on them you see a little check mark show up then click on apply and once that's here make sure to add alt text this is really good for SEO and for Google and search engines to figure out what this image is about I always recommend to clients to name it with something that is something that you want that post to be found for so keywords um, that you want to be found for, use those in this alt text box here. And that shows up when you click on the, the picture in the post, you'll see this little alt text show up. That's pretty important because it will help Google and other search engines see what that picture is and index it. And uh, it'll show up in like the Google images search and so forth for those words that you're labeling it with. Not guaranteed it's going to be at the top right away, but it will get into those results and uh, this will help greatly with SEO. Another thing you can add is gallery. So you can add a gallery of images to your blog post. You can add video by adding a YouTube or a Vimeo. Um, and you just simply get your YouTube or Vimeo video that you've already uploaded into one of those platforms. And you copy and paste that URL of whatever video it is right here. You can also do that with any video that's on YouTube or Vimeo. As long as it's public, it can be viewed um, and inserted and embedded very easily here using this tool. Another thing you can do is add GIFs. Uh, GIFs are animated uh, images. Um, so if you're kind of an uh, expert at creating animated GIFs, you can add a GIF. You can also find some online if they're free to use. Um, there's divider lines and HTML code that you could add if you want to insert um, a HTML code snippet of some sort if you're a HTML guru or if you just want to add something that's embedded from another um, uh, source. So. You have all these options here. Now, another big part of um, the posting is the advanced SEO. If you want to name your, your title with something specific, you want to name something specific on the description, basically this is what shows up on Google and other search engines. So if they are searching for something regarding this post, they, will, they can find it on Google and this is what will show them what it's about. So I always recommend to people to write something very concise um, and, you know, draw people in to read more. Um, it's also great to name it with keywords that you want to be, you want that post to be found for. So think about what people might be searching, what you want this post to be found for and name it and, and name every one of your posts something a little unique because um, that's important. You can also adjust the post title or the URL, I should say, up here. This is what shows up in your uh, browser's bar, the name of the, the page, basically. It's also see this little thing in green here. That's what you're adjusting. So I can change this to be whatever I want, and it will reflect here, which is also very nice. Um, you can create much cleaner URLs that way. When you're done with that, click on Done. And then when you're done with your post and ready to post, you can either A, save as a draft, which means that it won't show up on your full site, um, but it will be there for editing and, and publishing later, or you can click on publish now. Another option is if you click this little arrow, you can schedule your posts. So let's say you want to write five posts today and then schedule them to go out one a day for the next five days. You can set each post to be launched at any time that you want. You can select a day, you can select a time, and then hit done, and that's going to be scheduled to post on that day. And then you again want to click on schedule and make sure you always do that. If you're just saving as draft, it will not show up and it will not be even be scheduled to be sent out. So make sure to either schedule or use this publish now option. I'm going to leave this as a draft because this isn't a real post and I'm probably going to even delete it. So I'll just quickly show you how to do that. As soon as I either publish or click on save as draft, 
It takes you back to your main post area. This is where you can, um, uh, you know, do whatever you want with these in terms of editing and so forth. You can also delete these. You can view them. Uh, you can copy them so you can duplicate and create an identical post if you want to use that as a starting place. And of course, you can go back and edit. So if I want to publish this one again, just click on edit and then click on publish now. Um, so that's it. Once you've done the publish, it actually goes live to your site. So you don't even have to publish your site, although I always recommend that in case you did make any other changes. Um, but blog posts are independent of your main website publishing. So if you publish a post and it's live, it's going to be live regardless of whether you hit this publish in your just general editor. So um, just to clarify, when I go in here, uh, and I hit publish on one of these posts, that will publish it live to the site. Um, so I don't have to, now I'm going to close out of this, I don't have to hit this publish after that unless I've made any other changes to the site. And of course it never hurts to hit publish. Again, it's not going to hurt, hurt to do that just in case you forgot that you made a little change or edit somewhere else. Um, so that's it. Enjoy your blog. It's very easy to use. Um, let me know if you have any other questions and check out my website at picklewix.com. If you have any other blog questions or Wix questions, I have lots of uh, tips and information there. Thanks.